This thing is really nice, ladies and gentlemen. I call it the cable killer, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, it's got three USB ports and an SD slot on this side. On the back here, you can see that it has HDMI out, a power cord, Ethernet, an AV cord, an SPDIF out, and another USB slot. Now, right here in the AV slot, there's a button in there to help you reset the box and to flash it with the SD card slot, which is right there. Um, they made it very easy to update. You don't need the SD card. Uh, there's something called the OTA update, which you will see in just a little bit. Um, I have to say this box is very, very stable. I was very impressed with it. XBMC works flawless. And we're going to head on over to the TV right now so that you can take a quick look at it. I believe this is one of the best boxes on the market. The Cable Killer. All right, let's head over to the TV and finish it up. Okay. Sorry about the video quality here. It is a little degraded compared to my HD webcam. But uh, here's the MX2 start screen that you come to. This is the 3D browser that they have adapted for the box. It's got an all apps category, an online cinema category, a game category, a video chat, a settings, you get the point. Um, nice little setup. I like this more than the than the regular startup because it's uh, got a little bell and whistles. It looks fancy. Uh, but jumping into the box here, you've got an average Android setup here with many apps. Uh, there are some video apps that I would recommend for watching TV and movies straight from Google Play Store. One Channel TV right here. You get off Google Play. Uh, Navia X you can get off Google Play. Um, now, here's something very interesting about this box. It's got the OTA updater. Now, what this does is this updates the box so that you can keep your settings and you do not have to have the flash card, which I showed earlier. Uh, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of uh, what software goes on the box, and you never have to worry about you know damaging your unit. Now, here's another app, TV Portal. This came from Amazon. And you can get Amazon uh, Store, App Store, by going to their website, downloading the APK, and loading it onto this box. This box is fully rooted, so you have total permissions and super user access to the whole unit, which is, is just wonderful. Uh, XBMC, as always, is on here as well. Uh, I'd like to go into the settings real fast and show you something that's very interesting. Granted, I'm sorry about my video quality here. You may not be able to see it. You may be able to. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But they have the regular Android settings in here for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, and what have you, uh, which I would connect the Ethernet cord to it. With the Ethernet cord connected, I hardly have any problems playing any content uh, from my network or uh, from any of the video apps. But when you come down here to storage and you select storage, boy, is this the nice part of this. Um, I have a tablet that has a 1 gig ROM and an SD card space of, uh, uh, it's a 16 gig tablet, so I have 1 gig of ROM and then I've got like 12 gig of SD. Well, this box is completely the opposite of that. This gives you the full 8 gig of internal space. So basically, around 6 gig is the ROM. And then the SD card that you put in the side becomes the SD, instead of the external SD, which is the way my tablet works. If I put an SD card in it, it becomes an EXT SD, which is kind of crap. Uh, but they did set this up very, very nice. I, I think that is one of the best features of the box. And, uh, you know, when they do their upgrades, which they will be doing a lot of those, uh, and adding features, uh, as in game controllers and Bluetooth and stuff like that, that will come in very handy when you want to install uh, large type games with graphics. Um, this box is capable of good graphics. I have installed Grand Theft Auto. Granted, it was not fun to play because of the mouse situation, but Grand Theft Auto 3 does play on this box, and it plays well. Um, okay, let's see. What else is there to discuss really fast here? Um, uh, they've Just recently, they added the Miracast. 
um, and they've added uh, a few other things uh, like the Bluetooth support. Um, now, here's XBMC, and this is basically the, the, the cable killer right here. This is the cable killer. Let me go back to my start screen here. Sorry about that. Okay, here's XBMC, and I'm going to be switching over to my air mouse, which I'm going to be showing you here in a second. Bam! There's my mouse, and the air mouse is the way to use it. I believe that the controller is well designed, but it's kind of clunky. Now, here's my videos. Now, here's XBMC. I believe it's a Frodo build. Um, it's a full XBMC, so it does HD decoding. I'm not positive. I don't think it does 1080p HD video decoding as of yet, but it's on the way in June, I believe. Um, right here is four uh, uh, repositories. Um, now, these repositories are not endorsed, nor are they uh, given out by the manufacturer of the box or the developer of the XBMC. They do not um, support these, but they are available um, from XBMC Hub and other repositories. One Channel, Ice Films, Mashup, and Navia X. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but I will show you that the XBMC does not use an external player. Let me jump right into one channel here. We will go to TV shows, and we will go to featured. And all I want to show you is that this does do internal decoding. Now, here is um, Law & Order SVU. And we'll jump down here to season 14. And we'll, we will go to the latest episode as soon as it's done thinking here. Now, this box is fairly fast. It does load XBMC fairly quickly. Um, and I, I am quite impressed with the stability of the box. Uh, stability is very important, of course. Um, you know, especially because I'm comparing it to another box that just hit the market as well, uh, which is uh, the Mealy box, which is quad-core with uh, an eight-core GPU. Sounds impressive. Well, this box beats it, and I'll explain that in just a second why. As you can see, XBMC carrying it to another box that just hit the market as well, uh, which is... Uh, it does load XBMC fairly quickly, um, and I, I am quite impressed with the stability of the box. Uh, stability is very important, of course, um, you know, especially because I'm comparing it to another box that just hit the market as well, uh, which is uh, the Mealy box, which is quad-core with uh, an eight-core GPU. Sounds impressive. Well, this box beats it, and I'll explain that in just a second why. As you can see, XBMC is decoding this episode. In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. <laughs> Okay, like I said, guys, sorry about the video quality here um, off of my tablet. That's what I'm recording this from. And this is XBMC, and uh, it just works great. This box is awesome. Uh, it, 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 works, it works wonderfully.